Now, here's Chief Meteorologist Tony Petrarca with your live Pinpoint Doppler 12 Futurecast. Well, hard to believe, but the uh, hottest weather yet to arrive, that will come to both uh, tomorrow afternoon and Friday afternoon. And even Saturday, we're still going to hold on to the heat, at least temperatures of 90 or higher. Now, in live pinpoint Doppler 12 radar, it is quiet in terms of showers and thunderstorms, where the chances will increase as we get towards the, uh, the weekend, especially the first half of the weekend. In the meantime, temperatures this evening are in the mid and upper 70s. Now, by definition, a heat wave has to be three consecutive days of 90 degrees or higher. But which thermometer do we use across the state to determine if it's a heat wave or not? Well, it's actually based at the airport in Warwick. Now, the winds today were coming up out of the south and southeast off Narragansett Bay, a bay breeze. Now, of course, the land is much hotter than the water, and there was enough of a bay breeze to knock the temperature down two or three degrees. So the airport only made it to 89 degrees. So at least at the airport, there was a brief break in this heat wave, though it will pick up again tomorrow. However, northern suburbs today where it was hotter, uh, the, certainly the heat wave continues. Now, tomorrow is a different wind direction. It's more of a wind that's off the land. A land breeze is obviously much hotter than a wind coming in off the ocean or the bay. And as a result, the airport should be much, much hotter as temperatures soar to at least 96 degrees. So wind direction plays a huge factor as far as what the high temperature is. Here are the highs today, upper 80s to low 90s, but anticipating hotter weather for tomorrow afternoon due to more of a southwest rather than a south breeze. Excessive heat warning, the combination of High heat along with the high humidity will make it feel like it's 105, and it's why the heat warning has been issued. Thunderstorm chances next couple of days are small, but the chances certainly increase by the weekend, especially Saturday, and some of them could be on the strong side this weekend, especially Saturday. Right now, temps in the mid and upper 70s. They'll stay warm and humid all night long. Temperatures overnight through tomorrow morning. Just watch the clock on the upper right-hand side of your TV. Said 8 in the morning. It's already 83, and we're soaring into the mid-90s tomorrow afternoon. Even the beaches and the coastline should be hot as well. By 7 o'clock in the evening, it's in the upper 80s still, and then settling back to only 78 degrees by this time tomorrow night. So for this evening and overnight, we're looking at 72 degrees under mainly clear skies. Tomorrow morning, any early fog burning off to hot sunshine, 85 degrees. And then by the afternoon, hour is topping out at 95, 96, along with that high humidity. So the heat continues through Saturday. Even Friday's a hot day at the 90 seeing signs of a strong cold front approaching on Saturday with the potential for some severe thunderstorms. So stay tuned. But keep in mind, it's not a washout because you don't get to 90 unless you have some sunshine. So I do expect some sunshine on Saturday. There'll be an opportunity to get outdoors. And the timing on these thunderstorms right now appears to be late Saturday afternoon into Saturday evening. I've kept the chance for scattered showers, though not as hot in the forecast for Sunday and a high of 84. Next three days are hot, especially tomorrow and Friday. And watching for potential. Potential severe weather on Saturday. All right, coming up next.